As the cost of living continues to bite, it appears we're paying more in taxes than we've ever paid before. The government opened its books today and cracked open the tax debate ahead of next year's election with the accounts showing we've topped $100 billion in tax take. Here's political reporter Imogen Wells. A year out from the election, there's only one thing on these voters' minds. The cost of living. Yeah, cost of living, really bad now. The cost of living. It's no secret Kiwi Bank accounts have been feeling the pinch, but the government's books are better than expected. I'm very pleased with this set of accounts. Back in May, Treasury predicted New Zealand's deficit would sit at around $19 billion. The accounts today, though, show our deficits at $9.7 billion. That's partly due to a titanic tax take of $108 billion, bucks, the largest New Zealanders have ever paid. The government, alongside hard-working New Zealanders, has done a lot of hard work. Hard work that's kept our net debt one of the lowest in the OECD, even in the face of COVID. But it's still a lot to swallow at $61.9 billion. New Zealanders should be confident that there's more revenue going into the Crown and that debt is where the government thought it was going to be. But we need to be really careful going forward that we don't take too much of that and spend too much money. But if anyone's hoping for relief in the form of tax cuts, don't hold your breath. This is a time for balance and caution, not for frittering away things through tax cuts to the wealthiest. But Kiwis wouldn't mind one. Would you like a tax cut? Yes. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? <laughs> like a tax cut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, tax cut will be good. <laughs> yeah. And the National Party says they're exactly what the government should be rolling out. What we see here is a government that's awash with cash and income revenue and tax revenue, but yet it still can't find room to give tax relief to everyday New Zealanders. I think they're wrong. The money man, though, not explicitly ruling them out for our lower earners. I have ruled out the idea of tax cuts that disproportionately support the wealthiest New Zealanders. Let the tax off begin. Imogen joins us now from Parliament. Kia ora, Imogen. The tax attacks are kicking off early. Yes, and the devil, of course, will be in the detail, which is also where both sides are actually lacking. On the one hand, the Labour Party is yet to form its future tax policy, while on the other hand, the National Party is unable to tell us exactly how it will pay for its proposed sweeping tax cuts. One thing, though, is for sure, the tax cut chat so far has simply been the warm-up, and things are only going to get hotter as we head into election year. Imogen, thank you.